nothing is dry. My sleeping pad was wet. There's condensation everywhere. Well, I would say good morning, but I wouldn't actually mean it this morning because it poured all night last night and I woke up in a puddle. Actually, a collection of puddles and a rainstorm inside my tent from condensation. But then the outside of the tent was also saturated and we're already stopping for Mountain Crusher to tie his shoes. Sorry. <laughs> I was very angsty when I got up this morning and that's putting it mildly. Is everything is wet. My sleeping bag is wet, my tent is wet, my backpack's wet, my clothes are wet, I'm wet, and it's gonna rain later. But it wasn't raining this morning, so we'll take our bright spot where we can get it. Anywho, all uphill today. Well, partially uphill, partially downhill, and a very large mountain at the end of the day. Should be great. Are you sure you don't want it for your dream home? Snapshot. I think the roof might need some work. You think? Oh. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Dennis Cove area, um, which is over by, I think it's Laurel or Laurel Fork Falls. This place is so cool. We're just leaving a river behind us with a ton of cascades and waterfalls and a really, really beautiful bridge. And honestly, it's my favorite part of the day so far because the rest of the day hasn't been great. It's been really humid. We've been going up a lot of hills. So we're actually waiting for it to rain at this point but it hasn't yet, which is nice. So we're just trying to finish up our miles and get down to boots off. But yeah, this area, it's really, really pretty. If you guys ever have a chance to come and see it, you should. Um, it's in Tennessee, um, cause you know, we're not dodging the border anymore. So, yep.
Well, that was fun. That was uh, Laura Fork Falls we just saw, and there was a super fun rock scramble around the water that the trail followed. It was a blast. And as you can tell, the umbrella is out because it is finally raining. Sad piece. Oh, I'd say we got to Laurel Fork at just the right time, considering now it is downpouring. I think to say the sky is an open is an understatement. I'm sorry the picture's cloudy. I can't get my phone screen any cleaner. It stopped raining and now it's back to being hot and humid. I'm pretty sure it's like 100% humidity. We're drenched and climbing a giant mountain for the end of the day. It is not the most pleasant. Hey, boots off. Well, we are camped at Boots Off Hostel in uh, like Hampton, Tennessee tonight. And uh, it rained a little bit earlier, but the guy here did give me a rag to wipe the inside of my tent off with. So everything's a little bit drier. Um, Chris's cowboy came in clutch today and he brought us trail magic in the form of a ride to Elizabethton, which we really needed. Um, and also like to get us a resupply basically. So that was a huge, huge blessing for us and it was so good to get to see him. So thank you so much, Chris's Cowboy, for your generosity and um, for coming in for us literally last minute. Um, so it was, uh, it was a tough day for all of us today and we're all pretty tired um, and we're gonna have to kind of split the group tomorrow. Um, just so that we can get a couple of things done that we need to get done. Um, but yeah, it was a long, it was a long day today. Uh, between the rain and the humidity, it was really tough on our bodies. Um, that and it was a 17.2 mile day. So, you know, that's just rough anytime. But thankfully there was a lot of beautiful scenery and uh, Boots Off is pretty nice. Uh, theoretically, they have the best showers on the AT. I think they were the most interesting we've had so far. I can't speak to the best. So take that as you will. But they're really close off the trail and uh, Grumpy was good helping us out. He's a very interesting guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got laundry done. I got some stuff dried out. We're resupplied and we're ready to make our break for Damascus. So we'll see what the next few days bring. Good night, everyone.